is up guys? AJ Good here at the House of Masks bringing you another episode of Mailbox Monday. That means today is Monday, which means we are going to open some mail from the mailbox. Now, I made a mistake in this episode. I had something sent to my personal address, or something was sent to my personal address, and I didn't realize what it was, and I opened it, so I will show that first. <coughs> Basically, it's just a, uh, a big, like, bucket head um, care package. So, it's from my buddy Joe Norfolk, super nice guy, very knowledgeable on Buckethead. He's one of the only other people I know that has a Herbie. So he gave me Pike 13. This is still a sealed copy. Uh, these are out of print. They do not make those anymore. And then he gave me a bunch of Pikes that are the hand-drawn versions um, that Buckethead actually drew. He gave me a bootleg CD. Um, he said that the only difference, I guess, is that the print on this artwork is, is uh, different from the actual, I guess it's darker. He gave me a couple bucket head posters, that one's upside down. He gave me Guitar One magazine, Buckethead on the cover, and I've actually never seen this for sale, so it's cool to add to the Buckethead magazine collection. Those are far and few between. <coughs> he gave me some sheet music, and he gave me, um, I would assume, some concerts and stuff on this little, uh, uh, whatever those are called. So yeah, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. I'm sorry I didn't get to open it on camera. For some reason, you guys really like to see me actually open stuff, so. Um, I also scored some auction house masks that are not in the greatest shape but it's still cool because um, I don't know I just like these I have like a little collection of them and they all come from that auction house here in town so got those two and now on to the mail this first one may or may not have been ordered I'm not sure I'm pretty sure that this is one that I ordered <clears throat> but it's cool because I ordered um, something like this in one of the first episodes so it's kind of cool to keep that going so I'll go ahead and open this now then we'll move on to the ones that I think are sent in from you guys that did absolutely nothing. How do you have an exacto that can't cut through paper? Yeah, this is a this is an ordered piece. <clears throat> this is the latest modern drummer issue with Jay Weinberg on the cover, and that'll go well with the um, Rhythm magazine that I ordered with Jay Weinberg on the cover um, in one of the first episodes. Might have been like two or three or something like that. Okay, so now on to the mail. This is from Zach Miller in Tucson, Arizona. I'm going to be careful how I open this because I don't want to cut anything on the inside. Oh, it's in another envelope. Oh, this is uh, from Senior Pillow on Instagram. This is that drawing I posted last Friday for the Fan Art Friday. And that's cool. Because uh, a lot of times people either draw me in stinky or me uh, with my current mask, and I don't. I, that's obviously different because it's me and some like custom face paint or whatever, like a negative skull I did. So that's awesome. I can't wait to add that to the wall back there. I appreciate that. At Senior Pillow is uh, check for spelling on my Instagram. It was the last Mailbox Monday that I or the last Fan Art Friday that I posted. He was the one that sent in. Okay, so this next one is for my buddy Brandon Murphy. Um, I forget what I've gotten from him before to show you guys. That Sweet Tooth mask, I got that from him. Thanks, Truck, for ruining my my uh, speech here. Anyways, I got this Sweet Tooth mask from him, um, and it got a lot of attention when I posted it. I need to do a video on it because I don't think I've done a video just on that mask, so maybe I'll do that later too. Uh, but this is a piece he gave me for free for helping him out with it. I sent him a lot of reference, and I also sent him a real 83 to kind of cast a base off of. So uh, we'll go ahead and open this up and check it out. And these are available for purchase if you guys feel like buying one. Um, I'll put his details below. His Instagram is at Sculpt or Die. You can look him up on Facebook at Brandon Murphy with an R E E, not Murphy. Murphy. <coughs> This is Joey Jordison, Volume 3, 
the subliminal versus the mask. I shouldn't have threw that box because I don't know if there's anything else in there. This is made out of super durable resin, I'm sure, um, or some sort of urethane. He said it's the same material that like hard hats are made out of, so it's very durable. I'm not going to slam it down to show you guys, but uh, I can tell you here, I'll, I'll come around and show you guys the thickness. So this is just kind of an up-close look at it. As you can see, it's painted really well. It's got that shine that Joey's had. And uh, there you can see the thickness of that resin, obviously thicker than any Caesar or anything like that. Got the weathering on the chin. So yeah, that's sweet. It'll go good with the rest of my Joey's. And uh, if you guys want one, like I said, you guys can hit him up. Um, I'll put his Instagram details in the link in the description below. I'm talking like a fucking idiot again. I gotta stop that. Um, I think he does both versions, which would be like this version with the white, black, and red, and the gray and black. And uh, I don't see why he wouldn't do custom versions too if you guys wanted some sort of custom stuff. So yeah, that is it. And the last thing I forgot to tell you guys about was this hat that I'm wearing. You guys might just think that I'm wearing it to be serious, um, but I do play Pokemon Go a lot and I get super into it, and I actually had this hat sent to my personal address from a friend I later found out it was my best friend Doug, who's visiting right now. Um, but I got the box from the mailman, I was like, what is this? Because it said, like, from Mr. Clean or something like that. And uh, me and the mailman had just been talking about Pokemon Go, how we both like it and stuff, and how I take it way too serious. And uh, then I got this box and came right back to the house and opened it up, and it was this fucking Ash Ketchum hat from eBay, and uh, I didn't know who sent it, and then I put two and two together and realized it was my friend Doug. So that's the story on this hat that I'm wearing. I'll go ahead and lay everything out, show you guys this week's pull. Um, thank you to everybody who sent in once again. I love the art, love the masks, and uh, obviously all this buckethead stuff will have a good home here. Um, yeah, if you guys want to send stuff in, the uh, address is always going to be below the videos on Mailbox Monday. It's always going to be in my Instagram bio, so... Check that out, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next Monday. So here's the stuff from this week. And like I said, if you guys feel like sending something in, the address is always in my bio on Instagram, and it is always below this video, any Mailbox Monday video. And uh, I do appreciate everybody sending in. I am thankful and very lucky to be able to continue this series um, of just getting stuff in the mail. For some reason, you guys really enjoy seeing me open things, and obviously I enjoy any sort of participate participation participation precipitation rain i love rain anyways um yeah it's just awesome to be able to keep doing this and uh it's getting bigger and bigger every day and uh it's just one of those things so yeah thank you guys and hopefully we see you next week if not we'll see you next time